Namaste friends. Soft yet hearty pumpkin will definitely satisfy your stomach on a cool autumn day. And with Ayurvedic spices and also the tangy and sour raw mango, we are going to make this a lip smacking one. Come on, let's start with the recipe now. All right, let's begin. We need sweet pumpkin, potatoes, and tender mango or raw mango which I have chopped. And we need dry mango powder or amchur, coriander powder, cinnamon, clove, pepper, curry leaves, chili powder, turmeric, cumin powder, and dry ginger powder. These are the ingredients which we need. This is a one pot recipe. We take some butter or ghee in the pot and add half teaspoon of cumin. This is for the tempering and we need half teaspoon of mustard and whole spices, cinnamon, cloves and peppercorns. We don't need to grind them, just add them in the pot and some curry leaves, turmeric, half teaspoon and red chili powder, again half teaspoon. If you want it to be more spicier, then you can increase the chili powder amount. Just saute a little bit. Add the potatoes. Here I'm taking the baby potatoes and tender mango, sweet pumpkin. So remember, this is a sweet and sour recipe. So the sweetness come from pumpkin and sourness come from the raw mango. And now we add the dry spices. Coriander powder, one teaspoon. Dry mango powder, again one teaspoon. Dry ginger powder, quarter teaspoon. Cumin powder, half teaspoon. And salt. Here I'm using rock salt or saindav since it's also a fasting recipe. If you are not fasting, then you can add sea salt and it will still be yummy. Don't worry about it. This smells really good. And I'm adding around one cup of water to this and then I'm going to close the lid and let it cook for one whistle. If you are not using the cooker, you can still make it in a wok and close the lid and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes on a medium flame. And there you go, the curry looks amazing. Stay tuned guys, bye.